In this lecture, I will walk you through the product WS Maven project, which has the minimum details that you need to work on the product RESTful web service. So right now, stop, pause this video, download this product WS Maven project from the resources section of this lecture and import it into your Eclipse as a existing Maven project. How to import it is uh, explained in the very first section, the software setup section. And I'm sure you would have done it already for several other projects. So in this product WS, once you import it, pom.xml is the Maven configuration file. Open it along with the Maven coordinates, the project name, version, etc. There is the Java compiler, the, war, the Java plugin, compiler plugin, the war plugin, and then the dependencies. So these are all the jars we need for our application to work, starting with CXF jars, then the spring jars because CXF internally uses spring for configuring the web services, as well as we are going to use spring JDBC in this project to connect to the MySQL database and perform database operations. So the spring JDBC dependency is included. Jackson, if you want to add JSON support that is shown in earlier sections already. Finally, the MySQL connector jar, which is the MySQL JDBC driver. So if you are using Oracle or some other database, you need to include that particular dependency here. And later on, when we configure the Spring data source, you need to use that in the Spring, uh, the URL, the connection string you use should be for the Oracle database, as well as the driver class name should be for the Oracle or whatever database you are using. 